explain where it's going to do? You want to explain where it's going to go into, or what? We're filming. Let's okay, film Bob. It. What we've got here is uh, plus two inch from a trommel screen that's lights from the air classifier. Get an idea here to size here. Okay. 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 That's it. Just dig through it like you're doing. Yeah. Wood, plastics, paper. See the size of the plastic here too. Alright. Mix yes, of. Uh, this is their mixer. We have the lights and the heavies. You can see the heavies here. Alright, this is the minus two, two and a quarter inch trommel heavies. And we blend it at 50 50 by weight. There's your lights again, you can see. And the reason we blend it is we feel that the uh, heavies may be a little sticky to get through the mill. And we're going to try and process them and make them uh, blend in with the uh, garbage. Might be compostable better that way. Okay. The raw heavies that are unblended. You can see the and, glass, uh, Some glass here. Yeah, there's a little bit of everything in yes, there. Yes, there is. You can see different type of material. Plastics, glass. Plastic here. Yep, some metal. So all your heavies. Okay. All right, that's real okay. good, Bob. Now we're going to grind in the uh, laboratory C17 hog which is this machine here, small feed hopper attached. The other side of the machine is a V-drive off an electric motor back in the corner. We have a discharge chute underneath the hog down here on the floor that goes down to a barrel on the floor below. Now we have an air pipe that pulls an air draft off here. And this is the other view. There's, here's the air pipe. It comes into this fan here through here, up, into a cyclone collector here, and the light fraction that's pulled out by that pipe discharges into this barrel. chute from the mill above it comes down and it lands in this bucket didn't it? Sure did. Now this was the uh, trauma oversized fraction. Now we're going to go back upstairs and look at what's in the cyclone. From the cyclone, and you can see that it's a lot finer, which is to be expected. Now we'll blend these back together later, but we're going to sieve them separately just for test purposes. Now you can see that there's a higher content of film plastic here and that the film plastic that remained in the unders, there's still some there but now it's better liberated and uh, this is a candidate for further air classification because... We're ready to make a run on the 50-50 blend of heavies and lights.
foam fraction here. What do you see, Bob? Well, you can see quite a bit of uh, light plastic here. There's some light paper, some lights here, some paper here. Quite a bit of plastic, as you can see. It's well liberated. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. And down the bottom, we got some lines. here. Lines here. Section that went downstairs. Went through pretty well, didn't it? Shredded up the uh, the blended heavies. Can you find any big pieces of glass in there, or is it all ground up into smithereens? Can't find any glass. Okay. Styrofoam. Okay. Well, we're going to sieve these and return them to the customer, and he can examine that closely to see if the glass is properly shredded. Getting ready for run three, which is the uh, heavy zone. Now we got the record button on. This is the stuff that went down the uh, bottom discharge. It appears the glass has been shredded up very well. It did not cause any plugging in the hammer mill. Of the hog, and what we found is uh, only half the material that we fed came out. There's some plastered on the breaker plate. Some plastered right here. And we're plastered on the cage bars. And actually this is as expected because it's just so wet and sticky. And some on the inside of the cover too, Harold. And you say, there's, okay, it's also here on the cover of the mill. Now this is, once again, I mentioned as I kind of expected what happened, which is why on run two we blended it half and half with the refuse so it would uh, even out the moisture content and process better. But we're still going to return the samples we did get out to the customer just for uh, examination. Okay. We received two samples of material D4B, which is this one. The other sample we received was F. 10B, which is over there. And these materials have been screened? Screened as received. We then blended the two samples together per instructions, which is then this screen typical feed material shown here. What sizes do we have here? These are basically uh, plus one and a half. This is plus one and a half. Plus one. Uh huh. Plus three quarter. Plus a half. Plus a quarter. And, and then minus a quarter. a quarter. Okay. And this is a pile over here that was produced. That's the product. And what do we have here? It's plus one inch. Plus three quarter. Plus half plus three-eighths, plus a quarter, and minus a quarter. And then the pan is through 70 six mesh. mesh through 70 mesh. It represents how much of the total? Minus 70 mesh was one or two percent.
Okay. This is a second typical feed material in which we are going to run it as received, which is shown here and identified as D8B. Again, basically the most of the material is all minus inch and a half feed. Here is a product produced after our test in which most of the material is minus three-eighths three material. All right. The tests were conducted in a number 215 reversible impactor, V-belt drive at a driven speed of approximately 1,200 RPM with a breaker plate setting of about quarter inch clearance. The machine is reversible, fed in the center, which means the machine can run in either direction, producing the identical product. Gravity discharge through the floor to the bottom, and a dust pickup shown on the other side of the machine for dust control. Let's start it up. 